Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Fadila here. Welcome to my beauty room. In today's video, I just came up with this bold green purple eye look. Today's bold eye look came, came out really really good. And this is actually my favorite skin base look for the entire season. I really liked how this came out. If you guys want to see how I got this one right here, or this entire look right here, stay tuned but before we get started if you are new here welcome to my beauty room and in this channel we love beauty we love makeup so welcome to my channel don't forget to like share subscribe please subscribe and without further ado let's just get into the video video did i say video to start off i'm going to use um, a moisturizer i just wanted to bring my moisturizer into this video so i can show you guys this right here i just got this in the boxy charm and if you guys are seeing this that means you've seen the boxy charm or it's uploaded check it out one of the best things that i have received so far in the entire collection but it's a moisturizer and it's actually a body moisturizer i did not know this when i was doing the video <sighs> it smells so good and I, that should have ticked me off right there because I usually don't like anything that has a strong scent on my face. It's very moisturizing and it has cocoa in it, which is something I like. So I still use it on my skin. I haven't broken out yet. If I do, I will absolutely stop and I'll let you guys know if you shouldn't use this on your skin. And when I use this on my face, my foundation sat on my face so well. Okay, so for primer, another thing I got in my boxy charm, this is a no pore, no pore blem primer. And you guys are going to be seeing a lot of this in my videos because I'm going, I'm testing it to see if I like it, and then I'm going to update you guys in the next boxy charm video if I recommend it. I'm going to be using my NYX. Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation in the shade, not my shade, and that's Deep Cool. And then I'm going to mix it with the Light Illusion from Flower Beauty in the shade Mocha. My face is looking slightly darker than my body, but that's fine. My neck is slightly darker than the rest of my body anyway. So, literally, I don't know how my neck becomes darker than my face and my head it doesn't even make any sense i'm going to be using my morphe palette the 35m palette that i haven't i don't think i have shown it on my channel before i think i made a video and i never actually posted it but this is the palette i'm gonna grab this color right here as transition I like my transition to show up why am i shaking i think i feel like i just had coffee but i haven't had coffee in a long time so I don't know why I'm shaking like as though like I was I had coffee. Going to this color right here, which is Sweet Beats. This color right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm using the fluffy brush for a while, but I'm just gonna go deep. And I'm just gonna go use that in my crease, kind of like bringing it down here. And I'm just bringing it out here just a little bit. Just I have a lot of lid space. And I like to use it. Alright, I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to bring it here. I'm going to use a different brush, just a different fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab this color right here, which is a purple color. Because I like this work because you get more pigment like that. And give me some depth. Let's see if I keep doing it, maybe eventually. It's going to get there. I'm just going to put the rest of what I have on the brush at the ends right here. I'm going to dark purple, which is called Transformer. And I'm just going to place that right in the crease with some depth. Bring it in here. Slightly above. And then swirl it out. Summer is a beautiful color. Well, Zion. The, the Zion. The, the, the. the next concealer is this right here, starting from right here. I'm gonna look down that way I don't spread it. Just 
taking a translucent powder and I'm gonna use that to set the lid you guys what's happening is it's not drying fast and I need it to be matte for the next step so I'm going to set the concealer in place I'm grabbing my purple one more time there we go much better and I'm just gonna blend that in and I'm just gonna revive this well basically I'm mixing one two and three together and I'm just gonna place that almost in the crease but like blending it upwards right here this color right here it's a shimmer in here I'm going to spray this to a little bit of the darkish green which is the standout to make it a little bit darker for the green here to blend into the purple One. boom okay so for lashes this is something i got on ebay love the whole lash situation we're gonna use this one right here today for liner i'm going to grab my cat for the tattoo liner Just a thin layer so I can hide my band. The Better Than Sex Mascara here. Um, Boxy Charm again. I'm not the biggest fan of this mascara, but I'm giving it a second chance. You guys are going to see a lot of it in my videos as well. <sighs> going back with a second coat. Okay, okay. So I'm seeing a difference. I'm very critical when it comes to mascaras, but I've had like times where my, my lashes looked really, were really small and weren't really growing anyway. So maybe I was just critical at the time when I didn't have to be because my lashes were not healthy at the time. But even then, still, like, I'm not a big, like, I don't see it. Like, I don't see it. So the eyes are almost done. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. Clean, Clinique. Beyond Perfecting Tween One Foundation and Concealer. Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. There we go. Double chin, be gone. All right, so we're matching the body, which is great. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my whole entire face with this Maybelline powder. Somebody is texting me. I do know it doesn't do anything for me when it comes to how long the foundation is going to last. This is the um, Pretty Vulgar powder, translucent powder. However, it does make me look really flawless. Like It gives me that flawless look. So I do want to use that underneath the eye. Going into my lower side to make sure everything is intact. So for contour, I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Palette right here. I'm going to use the two darkest shades. Man, it barely even shows up. Now this is the Elf Contour Palette. It's the four... In one, I'm going to use the darkest shade. Okay, that did something. Mahogany. Okay, I'm just going to pinch this right here and go over my nose. Bring some light back into this face. Look, my nose is hella small. And I'm going to go over the bottom side with Better Than Sex. I'm going to go into this one right here. This right here. Mix it a little bit with this. I just need a little bit of a soft color on my face. 
bring back life and not take over. Oh, don't forget the nose, it makes it more realistic. I'll be using two. These two right here, this is the Vivid Baked Bronzer Powder. And then I'm going to use on top of it the Gold Addict Highlighter. Right here. Ooh. This is the Mario Pinescu setting spray. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Professional Makeup Lippy in the shade Cream Show. And I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss from Hard Candy. Okay, that's it for the look. I hope you guys like this bold eye look. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, and go check out my other videos because I do upload twice a week. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful.